Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. That's 28 and 27 tiles respectively. It can be a little bit overwhelming. That's why I highly recommend practice. In this video, we're going to do random pulls in which we practice identifying the strength in the dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two, so we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then back to 28. All right, we have three jokers, three flowers, white drag, that's not a white dragon. Oh my gosh, pull it back. Three, two, one. We have one, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine in cracks, singles. One, two, three, six, eight in dots, singles. One, two, three, five, eight in bams, pair one, pair two, pair eight. We have a north and a red dragon and three flowers and then we have three jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on consecutive run, primarily because we only have one four. We do have some two, four, six, eight in here, but only one four. And it's in a the, this suit when we really would be able to use it better with this suit, the, the four bam. So I think I would do one, two, three, four, and then six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, and six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see here. I was thinking maybe we could do the one, three, five pair hand and then two, four, six, eight for the other hand. Okay, well, let's set it up for both and see what happens. So the north can go for sure. So if we did one, two, three, four, and then six, seven, eight, nine, let's just see how many discards we have. So we have two discards. One, two, three, four is up here. Six, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven, eight is down here, but they're a bit off with these suits. I think a six, seven in bams or six in cracks would have been better. So I don't think the fives are gonna be helpful with six, seven, eight, nine. So for example, we could do six dot seven crack eight bam with flowers, or we could do seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle right there. I guess it would be like, like that. Uh, so there's a lot of work to be done, but it's possible. And the same thing up here, we could do one, two, three, four. We could do one, two, one, two, dragon, maybe keep that. So one, two, one, two, dragon. Then of course these would be discards. So let's say that we have three discards and options with one, two, three, and six, seven, eight, nine. 
So now let's compare and see what we have if we do evens and odds. Maybe this is better because there's two discards. Here we maybe could even do this pair hand one, three, five, seven, nine with ones. We need to build up, of course. We only have one multiple down there, so I don't know how well that would go. There'd have to be a lot of drawing. And then we could use the jokers up here to help with a two, four, six, eight hand. Now we have three flowers. There's one hand that uses six flowers, two, eight, and two suits. We have two, eight, and one suit. And then our four, six are in the other suits. What if we were to maybe play a pair hand there with evens? Play the pair hand with evens. Two, eight, we need four, six singles. Four, six singles. We've got a six here. So there's some potential for the pair hand there. And then down here, maybe we could do like one, three, five, I think. Let's just say, let those go and do one, three, five of some kind with these helping out some. For example, we could do one, three, five crack mixed suit cons with a flower, or we could do one, three, one, three, let's see, it would be one, three in dots, one, three in bams with a five crack. So there's some potential there. I think this might be better because look, we have four discards. Potential pair hand, little odds. Or maybe even the pair hand if it were to come in and then switch this up here to maybe the concealed hand, we would have to let that go but that might be a way to do it. This one was really challenging too. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comments section below with pull one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in cracks with a pair of ones. Pung of fives. In dots, we have two, four, five, eight, nine, pair two. In bams, we have one, three, four, five, six, pair four. We have a west and a pair of green dragons and then a flower and a joker. If these were your tiles, what would be your focus and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play the consecutive pair hand and then three, four, five, or four, five, six with dragons. We have a potential pair hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd have to let the five go. So really, that would be eight discards with joker bait. And then here we have three, four, five, or four, five, six. So really we wouldn't be able to keep both of these either one would go, but this is pretty well set and it uses two multiples. All the multiples, but one are being used with this plan. So I think this is what I would do here. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with hole two.
We have two, four, seven, eight, nine, pair four in cracks. One, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine in dots with a pair of ones and a pair of twos. In BAMs, we have two, four, or two, five, six, seven, nine, pair two, pair seven. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for the 2468 pair hand or the concealed hand under evens and then north and south with a run. Four discards, two joker bait, north and south with a run. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. Oh, this. We don't need that. And this can go away too. So six discards, joker bait, north and south with a run, and then two, four, six, eight pair hand. But you know what? I think I would just keep all the two, four, six, eight and not pick a hand, just gather. And then up here, I probably even would do the same with the sevens, five, six, seven of some kind. We could even maybe do big odds. I was thinking maybe big odds up here and then joker bait there. So we could do, for example, five, seven, seven, nine or five, seven, seven, nine there. If we get more fives, we could even do the five, seven, five, seven with a Kong of nines. That would be the second hand from the bottom under odds. And then if north and south built up, we could maybe do five, six, seven, single pair Pung. So I think what I would do, I think I would start by discarding those, not even plan it for joker bait and just gather and build up. One thing I was thinking too, if we get it east-west, we could maybe do like numbers with sevens, leverage that multiple there, or maybe even that one. Maybe that's even what we should do. Keep these. We don't have any other ones though. I don't think so. I think I would rather focus on, on the multiple here with the other sevens. I think I would discard those first. Two, four, six, eight pair hand or concealed hand and then news with a run, or maybe big odds as a plan B. That was challenging. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write what you would do in the comment section below with pull three. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them by groups of tiles. I like to put my numbered suits together in numerical order, and then the dragons and winds together, and then the flowers and jokers to the side. Focus on multiples. Try to come up with a plan building around your multiples. If you have eight discards or less building around the multiples or the predominant pattern, I'd say that you are optimized to complete those hands. If you have more than eight discards, you might want to rethink it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.